That pyramid itself, the Great Pyramid, the one that we all know and, and look at, the biggest one, it's aligned to true north within just, you know, a fraction of a degree off. We just don't build with that type of precision even today. The, in fact, the only building we made uh, that was that precise was like an observatory in France that was the first one we ever made that even came close to that degree of precision. They made that in the 1800s. It's just one aspect of it, though. It's insane, apart from it being just the tallest building for forever until the Eiffel Tower was built. So the traditional historical narrative is that these were built, what, 4,500 years ago? Something like that, somewhere around the 2,500 BC. So oh, they build this in 2,500 BC, and then it takes us until 1,800 yeah. AD in order to build something taller. Taller. Yeah, just taller, not even as precise. Yeah, not nowhere near as precise. 1,000 years later, 4,500 years later, whatever it is. So you yeah. understand why people start to question the historical narrative. Well, it, it falls apart under any rudimentary uh, examination, just the logistics of trying to build that thing alone. So you have to, the way that they, there's very little evidence that actually ties it to the guy they say who built it, a guy named Khufu, who's like a, a pharaoh of the fourth dynasty, old kingdom. You know, when he came to power, he probably said, we're going to build this thing as my tomb. So they had to get it done inside his rain right so that sort of pins it to like well 20 to 25 years okay so you can break it down from there